back again. <coughs> uh, it's surprise, surprise, it's raining again. Uh, look, hopefully it's not, we've got I don't know, 15 to 20 mil forecast. Uh, hopefully it's, um, hopefully there's not a lot in it. 10 or 15 with a bit of luck, um, or not at all, none at all would be perfect. Uh, still, still plenty of water getting around. It is getting away after the uh, 70 mil or whatever we had out of the last, last lot. So. so yeah, got the hay finished up this morning. Uh, and got the baler back home and blown down in and back in the shed before the rain. Um, got the jewels on the tractor yesterday. Uh, so I'm just heading out to the other farm uh, to hook onto the, the chaser bin, haul out bin, whatever you want to call it. We call it chaser bin. Uh, and then I'll yeah, take you running back home. We'll just see what the weather's doing, but might um, need to just check the wheel bearings on it. Uh, they may, may need tightening up and we'll just replace the, the drive chain on it. Uh, we just built this chaser bin, it's about an 18 tonner, uh, so you'll, you'll get to see it soon enough. Uh, and uh, yeah, but no, it's all starting to come together. There's been a few neighbours that have that have started, so hearing sort of, haven't had any yields, but moisture's, moisture's pretty good. Uh, the stuff that's been down, you know, 12 days. Uh, I was sort of back under six percent, so which is good. But yeah, look, we were sort of aiming for Tuesday, uh, and if we get get ten or twenty mil, and we'll battle to beat Tuesday. It might be later in the week. So anyway, we've still got a bit of stuff to organise. Got just got to finish off the GPS and the header. Uh, just need to run the pickup front. I just have to tighten the, the uh, loosen the the mats off because uh, they'll be sort of a bit stuck up, which they gen generally happen. Make sure the GPS is working all right. Uh, and yeah, just you know, put the magnum on the mother bin and give it a grease and check the gearbox oil and uh, hook the, the truck up, prime mover up to the trailer and we're about organized. So uh, yeah, we'll just see what the weather does. Um, we might have a couple of kids with COVID, which is, not ideal, so I'm sort of trying to keep the distance a bit because I don't really want to catch it. We've been fortunate enough through all of what's gone on that uh, none of us have caught it. Uh, we're all sort of had our, our three jabs, but yeah, the girls had a sleepover last night. Sarah got a it's friend's place and um, Sarah got a text message early this morning to say to one of the, their girls had come down with COVID and apparently it's in um, yeah, Molly's class, which is a bit of a pain in the butt, but Anyway, well, hopefully we um, we can dodge it. So anyway, keep playing along. It's uh, yeah. Get this, get out and get this bin bin hooked up and have a look at it. Got out here. Whew. Just cranking the jack up. Ah, uh, what's happened is it must have. Uh, when we brought it out here and put it in the shed out here, it's been put in with the little tractor. And the drawbar heights are quite different, and uh, I've run out of height with the jack. So, what I might try and do is just uh, hook, use the linkage arms and just try and hook under, under the pool there and see if we can lift it up. And just we can, we can make that jack longer down the bottom, put it in the next hole down the bottom. So we can get it hooked up.
Are you okay? <laughs> You're not hurt. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, we've just hooked it, hooked it in the eye there and lifted it up. Sorry about that, that was a bit rough. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just drop him down a hole. And we, hopefully. Let it down on here. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Nice left come down a bit on the on the jack, but we'll get it hooked up, no worries. Okay, she's all hooked up. Uh, I didn't haven't got a rag with me in the new tractor. I don't think so. I've, haven't hooked the hoses up, and we need to change the PDO spline to a thousand. Uh, but that actually, we're gonna actually replace that because I think it'll be it's gonna be a bit short. Um, obviously, there's a bit that's got to go there to hook onto the tractor. But yeah, a bit about the bin. Uh, we built this in 2016. Uh, there's not most sort of traditional bins, chaser bins I suppose, have got a floor auger. Uh, this is just a gravity gravity empty to the bottom. I've um, got a little door down the bottom here to, to clean out. Um, and we don't actually have any gearboxes on it. So all of it has to direct drive PDO out of the tractor. Um, and then we've just got a short uh, PDO shaft there. And it runs down to uh, a couple of couple of big sprockets here at the back so I've got a new bit of chain to go on there we'll just replace him uh, and yeah it's pretty simple it all works really well um, sorry close uh, for the um, about 18 ton it'll uh, empty in about two minutes roughly two and a half minutes at, um, at idle we don't don't need to run the PDO any quicker than that it's got a 22 inch auger on it so yeah but it, it took a bit to build it and get get it right but look we've touched wood we haven't had any trouble with it uh, it's been re been a really good thing uh, and look at the time I think we built it for about thirty thousand uh, dollars to buy the same thing was about 75 at the time uh, yeah so there's definitely big cost savings there uh, look it'd be good to have a bigger one now with the bigger header but look we're we're not, uh, our paddocks aren't enormous here, so you can, you're going to get a box full and a half or sort of two, two three quarter box fulls out of the header in it. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's probably its beauty is it's quick to unload, so you can sort of dump and dump and go. Uh, anyway, so now nah, we'll head back home and uh, yeah, might put the nose bag on and have a bit of lunch, see how these kids are tracking. All right, so we're back here at the shed. Uh, I've had the truck in this morning. It's the day after yesterday. We went out and got the bin out of the uh, out from the other farm yesterday. 18 mil rain overnight. Uh, it's been pretty windy all day. And I just mentioned yesterday, we've got the auger up. I uh, just mentioned yesterday that we we're going to jack this bin up and just check the wheel bearings. So I've got a few blocks of wood and a little jack. Um, Hang on, the jack scrapped it. I'll just get it back up a bit more. Yeah, 
give it a spin. All I'm gonna do is, right, I might push it down. That might be easier. Any little tripody thing up there. Just, just wait there. So I'm gonna do. I just want to see whether they've got movement in them. Which that one's pretty good. So we'll uh, let it down. We'll just slide the box across. And we'll jack the other one up and have a look at him. Alrighty, we've done the other one. He's all good, so we'll just slap a bit of grease on him uh, shortly. Uh, a bit more about this bin when we build it. We build it with um, bolt-in axles. So, so if we ever did a bearing and damaged the axle, it wasn't a case of having to take an oxy torch to it uh, to, to replace the axle. So uh, that's just... Yeah, it's just four bolts and that axle will slide out and then the new axle, you could, it's just a case of cutting a new plate to to weld back onto it. So, yeah, it's pretty simple. So, um, and then also, so next thing I'll just replace that, that double chain there. We've got a new box of chain, but I'll just have a show you up in here. What it looks like on the inside. Once a, once a washout, goodness me. So it's basically just, it's just got a hydraulic ram on the inside there, that, and it's just got a door in the bottom of it that, that slides up and down, and then you can see that rod that comes up there. Um, it comes out, just, it'll, comes out, extends out. Um, more you open and close the door, and that just shows you how, um, how far the door's open. Uh, a couple of years ago, we put another, whatever that is, 600 mil. 700 mil uh, from from there down the auger was a bit short and we yeah we sort of battled battled for a bit of reach so it's going to be interesting on this new tractor how the how the jewels go but uh yeah anyway but um so to have a look at that ram it looks to be weeping a little bit we had trouble last year where the ram was leaking a, a lot for whatever reason and the oil was running was running down into the big bottom bearing underneath and it wa actually washed all the grease out of the bearing and we did that bearing so um that's bearing's got about a 90 mil center so it's a big sucker but we did manage to get another one locally which was good but yeah so anyway it's all come together we'll uh, get this chain done and uh, we've got to get a some pdo shaft for to extend the pdo shaft to the tractor but Winds up, things are drying out hopefully. Good luck, a couple of days we'll, we might get a crack at some crop. So just looking at the PDO shaft, and yes, it does usually have a cover on it. I've just taken it off to um, measure. See how we've got a bit of movement in that. Might be a bit hard to see. Anyway, what I'm thinking is, and you can also see it's, it is a bit worn too. Thinking it would be better off if it was 100 mil, 120 mil longer. Uh, might just 
stop a bit of that but it is it is pretty worn too so it's gonna chatter like buggery so we might whip him off and uh just at that cross just to make sure it's all right uh yeah we might whip, whip him off and get a couple of new tubes and just get them a bit longer yeah uh so got the chain cut just need some joiners so uh no we'll uh get them apart and get some new bits quick one on getting these lemons the lemon tubes that's what they call them i think um getting these old shafts out of these unis what i do is i just cut them off flush with the grinder and then i'll get a reciproc reciprocating saw and i'll just put a cut um in there just so that can shrink a bit and then yeah just belt it out with a hammer and punch i found if you obviously knock the roll pin out um but found if you try and flog that off they're bloody tight so uh yeah i'll uh i'm just gonna cut this other one off and then i'll i'll just show you what i do with the rear cipro saw and it might help you next time you've got to pull one to bits all right reciprocal saw and just a fine tooth uh, blade on it hopefully Tricky to get up with the cross in the road. There you go. Just allows it to shrink a bit and uh, comes out with a fair bit, of, fair bit less hammering and swearing and all the rest of it. It's not not as brutal, so. Uh, yeah, bit of a bit of an ag hack for you if you didn't already know it. Just on one thing I want to show you guys. Um, there's been a fair bit of talk with the wet harvest and wet ground, um, just about retrieving machinery um, safely, getting stuff out of that are getting bogged headers, tractors, trucks, essentially. Um, that are bogged out without someone getting hurt. Um, you hear horror stories of D shackles and that sort of stuff coming through uh, back windows of tractors and cables breaking and chains breaking. Um, you can buy there's a lot of talk about snatch straps, 100 ton snap straps, and that sort of stuff. What we've got, and it's not right or wrong, I don't know. Um, we've bought a couple of these. Uh, lifting straps the 15 rated at uh, 15 ton lift oh hello little dog g'day um, 15 ton lift and they're 10 meters long so what I'm planning to do is there's an eyelet on on uh, either side of the back of the flagship case combines for, for towing and it apparently runs right through the hook to the back of the chassis and runs through the chassis so I'm gonna plan is if we do get bogged is loop this thing through itself uh, so there's not actually a D on the on the combine end or header end uh, and then just hook that straight through the, uh, the the draw bar of the tractor so we'll have them essentially run in a in a V configuration hopefully the 10 meters will give us enough to to get away from the machine if we need to uh, and that'll that'll hopefully be a safer way to to do it if we do retrieve it uh, i'm waiting on the cotton reels for the for the jewels hopefully they'll be here um, we should have them tomorrow and we can get the jewels on it uh, but yeah again mother nature's playing funny buggers with us just talking to a mate out in the um, victorian mallee he's uh had i think he said 500 hectares of lentils and 400 hectares of barley hit by 
hail last night, so, uh, and there's yeah, a fair bit of hail damage over that way from all reports, so it's, look, it's, <laughs> you've never got it till you got it in the bin, so, and they're probably a fortnight, three weeks off, off harvest. Uh, yeah, so we're, luckily he's insured, so it's, um, he said, well, <laughs> he was pretty grumpy yesterday, but he's calmed down a bit today, but uh, you never, you never want to harvest a crop that way, it's, uh, we've had a bit, a little bit of it here in the past, and it's not a lot of fun, so especially this late in the season. But yeah, it's been. Yeah, I think he had 30 odd mil. He said again in in, a, in the storm. So, but uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Keep subscribing. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, we're two or three days off getting this the header going. So, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again.